So my name is Lorena and I'm a high school student at uh, Pullman High School and I'm writing a paper on women in World War II and I really want to make this good so my librarian suggested that I take a bus up to campus and use the WSU library resources. So I'm here and I've never been here before. So I'm starting off the library home page, let's go find that, and um, I don't know really what to do. So I'm going to look at this and the first thing it says is search, search everything and that looks good. So I'm going to type in women in World War II and let's see what I get. Okay, I'm looking at some good things here. Oh, this looks good. Women pilots of World War II. I probably want to get this. Um, there's the call number. Uh, I don't really know how to find things in the WSU libraries, so that might be a problem, but I guess I can go talk to the person at the reference desk, except it is after 8 p.m., and there isn't anybody at the reference desk. But I'm going to go over to the circulation desk, and because um, they're there till the library closes, and hopefully they can help me figure out where to go. Okay, so that's good, but I really wanted to find articles, so I'm going to kind of look over down here and see if I can find articles. Mostly it's books. Oh, there's a video. And actually, as I noticed that video, I'm looking over here on the left-hand side, and I see that I actually have the way to filter things. And, and that looks kind of good. And if I look up a little bit, oh, look, I can narrow it down by articles. So I'm going to go ahead and click on articles. And here we are. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Spitfire Women of World War II. That looks good. That's the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And let's see. There it is. It's from the journal Contemporary Review. And there's a citation but I don't really know how to find it. It looks like they actually have it in print, but um, I'd like rather find it electronically if possible. So as I look at this, find a copy online, get this article linked to the journal, I guess what I want to do is get the article. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it opens up another window. And actually, it looks like the article is available. Here's a nice little thing that actually takes me to the article. So I'm going to go ahead and um, click on go. Oh, that doesn't look very helpful. Um, let's go back. How do I go? Oh, look, it's grayed out. Oh, if I look up at the top, it looks like this opened it up in another window. All right, so I'm going to close this. I guess I have to press this find it button again. If I remember correctly, there were two places where I could find it. Let's hope it's available in this one. Uh, that's not available either. Did I already press that one? Maybe that was the one that I pressed. Let's try the first one. Okay, that's not very helpful. Well, let's kind of see. This looks right. What is this ISS? Uh, Volume 290, Issue 1690. Let's go back. Volume 290, Issue 1690. Hmm. This looks weird. The ISSN? No. 389. Date? I don't know. That looks right to me. Let's go look at this again. This is really irritating how I have to kind of keep going back. Okay. Volume 2008. That's right. Volume 290. Yeah. Issue 1690, yeah, page 398. And I don't see anything about, oh, there's like seven, five, that must be my little thingy because that's what it looks like. So I'm going to click on go. All right, well, it looks right to me. So all I can do is just click on submit. Well, that was not very helpful. So let's go back. And here I am again. Well, that wasn't very helpful, but it says that we have it here at WSU. So um, I guess I could just click on this. And OK, I have to keep kind of going back. It's <coughs> Autumn 2008, Volume 290, Issue 1690, Volume 290, Issue 1690. And I kind of look through here until I find the article. And I'm not seeing it so far. Something to do with Spitfires. I guess it's on the next page. Um, I don't see it. 
Spitfire Women of World War II, page 389. Page 382, 386. Look at this. It stops at 386. Hmm. Well, that's really irritating. It's actually not there. What am I supposed to do? Well, let's see. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe it's actually in issue 1691. Let's go back. 2008, issue 1691. No, page 409. My article's not there. That was really frustrating. It says that it's available. Well, I'm going to go back and, um, well, let's see if they actually have it in print. Okay. I need it from 2008 and I'm going to go over here and I'm actually kind of confused. Um, this is like all the old stuff. It says here they have it to current issues, but I'm not guaranteed that. How do I find out? whether or not they actually have it at the libraries. These aren't clickable. Let's see what this 12 copies thing says. Well, that just makes it smaller. I really don't know whether or not they have this at all. This is as, as near as I can tell from this, they certainly have the old stuff, but I don't know. So I guess that this is, according to this, it's actually in the current journal room. And so I should go talk to the person at the circulation desk and find out where the current journal room is and see if it's there. But that se it seems like it's weird. They say current journal room, but actually this thing actually goes from 1866 to current issues, which is like 150 years, and that's all going to be in the current journal room, wherever that is. Okay, I am totally confused. But that's a real shame because this article looked really good.